Now this is our new tent, the Gazelle T4. Yeah, yeah, grab your end right there and I'll grab mine. Oh, hold on, hold on. Boop. Now we'll grab the other side. Boop. Move it. Um, yeah, yeah. Let me, let me put on the rain down. fly. Oh, because it has a symbol on it? Yeah, so. Did you grab the snakes? Yes, they're in my bag. I got to get them out. Yeah, it's about to roll out up. Uh. Let me get the steaks. Michelle's about to pop the top out. We put the rain fly on. Boop. Yeah. Do you give a thumbs up on fastness? Yeah. Okay. Let me get it staked down and I'll give you all the inside tour. All right, so we're here at Paradise Ranch and Resort in Tylertown, Mississippi. I'm here to show you uh, the Gazelle T4 tent in green. Let's see. Let me put out. So the the steaks that came with them were crappy, so I bought some off of Amazon. And then it was kind of cold at night, so we kind of pulled these down like that. They have the little bungees, but in the summertime to get more air, we gonna guy it out from that little grommet like that to where you can get some more air. Um, it has a bunch of windows, you know, and then here's another door. There's a door on both sides. The only thing, the zippers for the doors are kind of funny because it's right on top of the, uh, of the screen. So, look. but yeah, for extra flow, there's a screen and they have little tie backs. Like so. Okay, so there's a look at one or the D door, so D shaped door. And here's of a D-shaped door. So on the inside, you have a seam sealed uh, floor, but um, we had it up for two nights. There was no rain, and uh, we had an air mattress, a little self-inflating air mattress right here, and it and it had a little condensation under the air mattress, and you could feel a little bit of wetness on it. So I'm looking to get in a ground sheet for it. Then another little thing. It's always a pain in the ass to clean out tents but this one there's velcro on the side and you can pull the whole floor out shake it and put it back into place okay now let's move on to storage so you got one nice big storage bag a second big storage bag a third big storage bag a fourth one 
And then in none of the other reviews did I see about this. This big like upside down triangle storage. And they got one on either side of the tent. Which is pretty cool for some more stuff, light stuff. And then up top, there's like this gear loft that you could you could put a um like a, a lantern or some sort of light, you know. Then up top, you can take off the rain fly, but we generally leave it on because Louisiana weather is uh, unpredictable. But like I gotta say, after two nights, it's pretty good, and you'll see it takes literally maybe four minutes to put up. And uh, it was like two, I think 270, or maybe from between 230 and 270. And the Overland edition was sold out, but uh, yeah, so far so good. And you'll see this on when we make our road trip to Las Vegas in November for our honeymoon. And that's why I bought this, because I don't want to spend more time than I have to setting up a tent. And I want to get to getting whatever adventure it is, you know? So uh, here's how the windows go up if you you want a little privacy or if it's windy and cold and you don't want it, you know, blowing you through. All heavy duty zippers, it's just the doors are kinda, kinda wonky. Cause the zippers are so close to each other. But four person, I don't know. If it's me and Michelle good and our gear. Maybe if you didn't have a mattress and you just sat on the floor, which I don't want to do in any tent. All right, let me, let me give y'all a little look, see with the windows closed up and then that'll be the end of this video. And then if you're in real bad wind, you can guy out right here so the tent don't um, fall back in on itself. So yeah, that kind of concludes my walk around at the Gazelle T4 tent. Thank y'all, like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you next time.